and I'm telling you, if you don't tip, nobody wants you there. Check this out. And this is and this is the reason I, I be calling bullshit on this whole argument. Because all this all this fire and venom that people have for the people who don't tip, but I don't see one post to the corporation that, that make these people work for two dollars and forty five cents. Like if 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 the same person posts on a video, hey, you guys are not nice for not tipping, send company you as a piece of shit for paying your employees two dollars and fifty cent and i will never visit your establishment again if we were doing that good but we're not we're going after the low-hanging fruit the end buyer what about the person who set up this scam nobody's going after that person that's why this argument is, is fugazi bruh i understand i understand you from that point but i just think that's just what people i have a problem with people not being direct anyway that's just a problem that's just america not being direct with certain shit like everything sweeping it under the rug yeah yeah that's not being direct it's basically if they were direct they was like look we don't want you in the establishment if you can't tip and if you don't tip then basically we could just raise the prices and then you won't come in the establishment anyway you'll see high prices and you just be staying away from it i would agree with that i want the prices to be high so you know exactly what it is you don't got to wait for no tip everybody's happy but the Correct. waiter and the waitress to have to deal with the fact that you got to guess and hope somebody's going to tip you that's a tough that's a tough situation especially hey, because listening to the comments I think it's, I think it's, can we not, I think it's an awkward situation at times for the server and the customer, because I've talked to a lot of people who anxiety goes on 10 when it's time to leave a tip. Should I leave a tip? Okay. Yes. Was this tip enough? Was the tip not enough? Like what, what, it shouldn't be awkward dude like it shouldn't be awkward after you paid for your service it's not you awkward should, you're anxiety a lot of people have anxiety when it comes time to tip because they didn't do the math that's all do the math as you're eating and it won't be a surprise okay what, what math so hold on 20%. what math the math is says who says who is the math this, 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 who, this, who made up this rule society let me tell you what okay it is. that's 20%. the bullshit right there listen 20 percent is the max you, you you should pay for tip right you, you should that you know that's warranted 20 percent so after you figure out how much your your food is, just add twenty percent. Multiply times point two. Yo, you'll be good. There is no set rule. Somebody pull these numbers out their ass, put them on the internet, and say, "Hey, I think this is a fair rate for you leaving extra money after you pay for your service." Again, that is this is rate. all opinion based. And it is opinion based, but it's been and I don't like it because we don't have to share the same opinion. It's not. It's, it's not really opinion based. It has somewhat fact to it. No, it, no, it doesn't. Listen, X, at 20%, somebody can take care of and buy and, and have apartment to rent. I don't at care. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. But that's I what don't the salary, care. They got to make a salary. They got to make a, a, a an honest living at 20%. That makes perfect sense. Well, they're, not, see, they're not getting rich at 20%. X. I, I care enough that at this point, I do tip. Like, I care enough to that point because... I understand that sympathy. Like I, I dig that, but what I don't dig is shaming people who choose not to tip. That's the only part I don't agree with. Like let's not do that because we don't shame the companies for hiring these people at two dollars and forty five cents an hour. Like you should not be able to hire nobody. See, see all this big talk you're doing, right? All this, all this soapbox shit, right? No company should be able to hire any employee below minimum wage. Yeah, I don't this. give a fuck. Server, right. none of that, right? In America, in America, that should not happen. But nobody is hopping on that post. Nobody is ragging those companies. I disagree. But what you want to do is rag the person no server. you're paying. I'm not paying no server $25 an hour. Why? I'm not doing that. No. So you want to put it on? See, see, and that's I'm the brainwash yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Brain that we done did to the people. That's no, exactly. I'm not paying you. I'm not paying you twenty five. You ain't worth twenty five dollars an hour. See, you worth, exactly, you worth you could, exactly. You but you worth, you worth you my tip. Bring. You worth what you could bring to my business, and you. you but get, you worth my tip, and you get a tip for that. Yeah. Bullshit. That's see, how it works. No, 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 no. See, right there, right, right there, bro, is the same that's mentality. The same mentality the corporation has, like, bro. I'm not paying you $20, yeah, 22, you 23, 24, 25 an hour. An hour. No. Even though, you can even make though, you can hold on. Make, you make more than that in tips if you do it right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even though, right, one server, let's just say, might, see, might serve 30 customers, right? Let's say one server, right? Might serve 20 customers. Let's just say 20 customers. 20 customers in a day. Average ticket price, 
say $60, $80, $80. Average bill in your restaurant is $80. This one server served 30 people. That one server made his worth today. He brought you in and served and made his his salary for the day. He was paying twenty dollars an hour. He made two hundred fifty dollars a day. He made two hundred dollars a day. He made his worth. Pay him. Pay him. See, and that's the bullshit, bro. I, I served over thirty customers. Average ticket price was eighty six dollars on the low end, and probably a hundred and some, two hundred some dollars on the high end. I've made my worth today. You just choose not to pay me. Yeah, I ain't paying you shit. See, no, and that's the effed up part. That, and and again, I'm cool. Like, I cool. Dig it. Dig it. That's the standard. I dig it. But let's not shame the people who don't want to play by those rules. It's all I'm saying, bro. Because we all we can sit here and acknowledge it's a fucking game and it's rigged. And if you don't want to play, you don't have to play because you understand how it's rigged. Here's that's the, cool. Here's a problem with your philosophy. There's so many waiters and waitresses that are successful. Because of the tipping uh, situation. Okay. They get, they get good tips. You know, they're, they're at the right restaurant where everybody's out to tip. You know, that's what they do. They understand that. And I like the way it working that way. I you do. Know what? You're not, you're not, honestly, you're not worth $27, $28, $30 an hour to sit around. Why not? You no, know, you got to, you got to, you earn that by, See? by earning, by, by creating a quality of service that will bring people mm -mm. back to my restaurant, mm -mm. causing them to tip you when you get mm -mm. that 20%. Mm -mm. Check this out. When you go on the Porsche, when we go on the Ferrari dealership, right? It's usually on a certain level of clientele that's going into a Ferrari dealership, right? I'm pretty right. sure the salesman at the Ferrari dealership doesn't have to worry about, you know, if the guy is going to leave him a tip or not. You know what I mean? If that's if that's what the standard expectation was for buying a Ferrari is leaving a tip. I'm quite sure they, they're leaving a tip. And again, you're bringing in a certain clientele and there is no middle ground. There is nobody, you know, sneaking up to the Ferrari. You dig what I'm saying? You're either there or you're not. Right. So if you're if you open an Applebee's and the average price of the food is $15, $20. The, the bar for entry is low. Anybody can get in. People with or without the means. But if you open a seven star restaurant and the average the average meal price is starting at three hundred dollars, you change the level of clientele you're getting, and the probability for guaranteed tips goes to eighty to ninety percent, if not higher. I agree with you hundred percent for that. So basically, you're saying, "Yo, get your ass out of Applebee's." Fact. And, and Fact. <laughs> <laughs> you work at a better restaurant that's yes. eliminating all the yes. welfare people from yes. coming to the restaurant. Boom. Yes. I used to stick my neck out uh, just for them to turn around and want to see me bled out. Uh, Gotta keep an evil lot of try to put a hex out. None of you can mess the quality, you feel like threat count. Yeah. Used to have a lot of fucks to give, now I'm fresh out. Uh,